That's new video of a drive-by shooting at a basketball court in Brooklyn. Police say the gunman opened fire from the sunroof of that moving car. You see him out of the top there. Three teens were hit. We've just found out, sadly, that a second teenager has died. News Force, Gus Rosendale, live in the Cypress Hills section of Brooklyn. Gus, uh, just some sad new information here today. Uh, Natalie, and an awful lot to cover as well. As you mentioned, two teenagers killed, and right now, uh, some friends of theirs are here paying their respects at a street side vigil. It is the sort of violence we're seeing all across the city, the sort of violence that is now affecting people of all ages. New video of a drive by shooting at a basketball court at this park in Cypress Hills, Brooklyn. One of the latest scenes of deadly gun violence in the city. Three teens shot. A 16 year old instantly killed. Police just confirmed a second death. A third taken to the hospital. The shooting happening Sunday night. I mean, I'm at a loss for words. I've been in the park like at different hours, and I mean, it's, it feels pretty safe. So, hearing this, it's, it's, it's alarming. The number of shootings in the city continues to rise. Seven homicides on Sunday alone, say police. The mayor says a solution requires cooperation between police and the community. You see all over the city community members stepping forward, elected officials, clergy, cure violence movement and crisis management system, a whole host of people and organizations. Meantime, about a 10 minute drive from Sunday's bloody scene, a one year old boy was laid to rest. This should wake us up. And this should not only wake us up on the kids in the neighborhood, but those that use our kids. DeVell Gardner Jr. shot and killed during a cookout at Bedford Stuyvesant two weeks ago, an accidental victim of a growing threat. Today, family and friends gathered around a casket so small it did not need a full escort of pallbearers. Gun violence took my son. They took my family. And as for the third teenager who was shot here at this scene, he's in stable condition at the hospital. So far, no arrests. We're live in Brooklyn. I'm Gus Rosendale, News 4 New York.